Uh, hello learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is CPA Lusenaka. Uh, on this channel, we'll be doing uh, business data analytics, both the theoretical part and the practical part. Uh, uh, business data analytics is more of a practical paper than a theoretical paper, but there are some theoretical aspects that you must know. You must know them. You must know the theoretical part. So today I'd like us to look at the theoretical part and this is the Crips DM. The Crips DM which is the cross industry standards for data mining. So under this Crips DM uh, we have mainly six we have six stages. So the first stage or phase is business understanding the second one is data understanding data preparation modeling evaluation and finally deployment so we'll start with business understanding so business what is business understanding these are business needs focuses on understanding the requirements and the scope of the project so under business understanding we have uh, several we have several Sorry for that, my screen was not coming on time, but here it is. So, as I was saying, under our business understanding, we have uh, four tasks. And these four tasks, uh, namely, we have determine business objectives, assess the situation, determine data mining goals, produce a project plan. So, we start with determining business objectives. Like business objectives, these are business goals like understanding the business perspective what does the business want customer wants and uh, understanding and defined business success criteria like a criteria explaining how to see if this business is successful or not so the next step is assessing the situation so assessing the situation this actually involves determining the resource availability determining the project requirements, risk assessment, as well as cost-benefit analysis. So we don't want to have a project, a data mining project, where the costs are more than the benefits. That would be a waste of time and resources. Okay, so after assessing the situations, you determine data mining goals, like from a data mining perspective, technical remember this from a technical data mining perspective like defining what success looks like from a technical perspective of data mining after that you produce a project plan producing a project plan this is mainly selecting the tools and technologies to be used and also a detailed plan of each project phase so after business understanding we come to data understanding and you can't understand the data first because you have to collect the data so the first task and uh, better understanding is collecting of the initial data and loading it to analysis tool describing the data this is examining the data surface properties like data format data field entries like the field properties like columns and the rest so after describing the data you explore the data this is you query the data visualize and identify relationships among the data among the data so after that one you will verify the data quality this is how clean or that is the data and uh, you are required to document any quality issues and enc encountered them so after data understanding we come to data preparation data preparation is also known as data managing and uh, this is i can see that this data preparation this is preparing the final data for modeling it involves the following uh, select the data like uh, determine which data sets will be used and uh, Remember, you are required to document uh, reasons for inclusion or exclude. Exclu so after you select the data, and you then clean the data by correcting, imputing, and removing erroneous values, removing duplicates so as the data is clean. 
by that this data cleaning is a whole topic a whole subtopic we will cover it under under this youtube channel so please be a regular visitor of our videos soon enough there will be a video to data cleaning so the next step is construct the data this is to derive new attributes that will be helpful uh, i want you know attributes attributes are like properties let me let me explain this from from uh, an advanced advanced step we have we have we have an entity we have an attribute and we have a relationship i'll explain this with examples so an entity an entity is a real world thing e.g. a product or a customer those are entities and attributes attributes are the properties of entities characteristics of entities isn't it attributes like let's say we are using the customer as an entity where the customer lives mode of payment mode of transaction these are the attributes and under product you come to type of product type and nature of product these are the attributes of the product as an entity so after that we have the relationship so the relationship is the customer buys the product so that's the relationship between the entity the entities okay we shall we shall also cover that uh, the that one is under modeling under um, modeling under data concepts where we have the logical data concept conceptual data concept or we start with we always we always start with conceptual data model uh, logical data model and the physical data model that one will cover in depth of how you will be able to understand these things they are very 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 simple so the next one is integrate the data create a new data from combining data from multiple sources as i've said in an organization isn't it yeah we have various departments we have the hr department we have the information department we have the finance department so these departments will be bringing in data so here integrating the data is you combining this data from various multiple sources to form a new data data set then the last one is format data so like you may get data that is in strange values and uh, you need to format them into numeric values so that you can perform mathematical operations on them like let's say uh, the information department gives you data that is in strange values like let's say you know like the information is doing the information department is doing after sales services contacting customers to see their their satisfaction rate so there are those who say yes there are those who say no i'm satisfied i'm not satisfied so this information comes in in strange values so you need to determine how many yes and how many no's were there so that uh, you can so that you can now perform mathematical operations on the information so after that we go to modeling under modeling we'll have uh, to build and assess various models based on several modern things there are four tasks the first one is selecting the model techniques determine which algorithms to use there are two modeling techniques that i know of but there are many more that i've not known the first one is the er model that is the entity relationship model i've just explained it there the entity the er model is the one that have the entities the attributes and the relationship and then we have a uml the uml is unified modeling language we shall also talk about that under data models so after you select the modeling techniques you generate a test design like depending on your uh, model approach or model technique that you have chosen you might be required to split the data into training data testing data and validation test so after you have generated a test design you have tested your data you have tested your sorry excuse me you have tested your model 
so you have to build the model as uh, building the model is as glamorous as this might be executing a few line codes uh, building a model is so simple and then you assess the model generally multiple models are complete competing against each other so you must assess the model based on domain knowledge predefined success criteria the test design and a point to note is that although the Crips DM guide suggests like as I was saying this Crips DM this is a guide an international framework given out for data mining so although they suggest that iterate model building and assessment and even strongly believe that the best model so they are under assessment here and assess the model the Crips DM requires that you assess the model and really strongly believe you have the best model but in practice after even modeling you should continue irritating the model we find a good enough model proceed to Crips DM life cycle the further improve the further improve the model for like you don't stop irritating it iterate iterate is more likely of assessing the model like continue assessing the model further for future improvements so after that we go to the fifth step and fifth step is the evaluation uh, whereas the whereas the assess model whereas assessing the model is typically technically on model on the model evaluating looks more broadly on the results and this is what we wanted does this meet the business requirements you see so the first task under evaluation is you evaluate the results do the model meet the business success criteria should we approve this model okay after that you come to a review process under review process you review the work accomplished was anything overlooked were all steps properly executed summarize findings and correct anything if needed that is uh, typically reviewing and then the next step is determine next steps oh, oh my god this is fun i said the next step is to determine the next step based on the previous evaluation results evaluated results and the review process you can determine whether to proceed to deployment iterate further or just initiate a new project so uh, and the last stage under uh, Crips DM's deployment now you are deploying it to the people to the to the organization to use it depending on the requirements deployment can be simple as generating a report you you know some models some models just want a report like uh, a report or as complex as implementing a repeatable data mining process across the enterprise it has four tasks plan deployment this is develop and document a plan for deploying the model the next task is plan monitoring and maintenance develop a thorough monitoring and maintenance plan to avoid issues during operations the third one is produce a final report the project team documents a summary of projects which might include a final presentation of the data mining results review project now here you have to conduct a project retrospective about what went well and what could be improved and uh, from there we come to the end of the Eclipse DM framework uh, if you have any questions you can post them in the comment sections and I would I would also like to say that uh, please subscribe to the channel because we will be doing We'll be uploading new new videos on this business data analytics after every two days, and uh, we also have uh, this these notes in soft copy. If you want them, you can get them at affordable prices. I I leave my email and my WhatsApp number under the um, in the comment section. So if you ever want the notes, we have the whole notes the theoretical notes and the um, practical questions so like if you want you can contact me we shall communicate the price with you and i'll send over the notes uh, thank you for listening hope the video has 
helped you gain something and uh, see you in the next video